The surge in cases means a skyrocketing demand for testing. We showed you this video yesterday. People waiting hours at Lakeside Mall in Sterling Heights. The video here. The wait on the tests is another one to two days. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kirstner was in that line yesterday and is now live at the lab in Waterford Township where his as well as thousands of other tests are being processed. Jim, good afternoon. Tell us about your wait yesterday. It was a four and a half hour wait, but I got it done. They put the cotton swab up both nostrils and they put it in the vial and it's the solution in the vial with the swab that goes through a two-step testing process here at the lab. They have plenty of these supplies. Staffing is the problem. At this point for us, the biggest obstacle is human capital, finding enough people to meet the demand, to help us collect out in the field, to keep our people fresh here in the lab. While in the line at Lakeside Mall, you'll drive up to this sign that says it's a four-hour wait at this point. You can't believe it. Then an hour later, a three-hour wait. It's real. Continue or quit. This is the only game in town. I checked urgent cares. I checked pharmacies. They all say book in advance, and they're all booked in advance. This is the only place I could get in today. Once inside, there are two lanes from Macomb County staff to swab noses, staffed by the county, not the contract lab. The lab for Macomb, Oakland counties, among others, is Helix. The PCR gold standard test is two steps here. The swab is in a fluid in the vial. The DNA is extracted in step one, entered into the system. Step two is processing, getting and reading the results in the next room. This is an example of a positive patient. They have the two targets here that are amplified for the uh, COVID targets. And then one of the targets is our control. This lab is processing 2,700 specimens from yesterday. This would be an example of a negative patient because we only have one curve showing up. The system is automated, but double checked for errors. We don't actually say this is positive, this is negative, this is positive, this is negative. The system does that and we're just checking for errors as we're looking through this. So we do look at every curve though. For now, there's not a shortage of supplies here. They planned ahead. We will be able to keep up. We will never take any more business then we can stay within that 24 to 36 hour commitment to our customers. And while it might be frustrating to wait for hours to get that specimen taken, we're doing it to stay safe ourselves, people around us. Four out of 10 people are testing positive. The people here in this lab, the staff, the clinicians, the collectors, the supervisors, these are heroes beyond belief. And we are depending on them so much more now than ever. So these results, 24 to 36 hours. And Brian, I'm going to have more on this next hour at 6, where you can get the tests, walk-in clinics, urgent care, pharmacies, where you can get in, where you're being turned away, and where they are expanding in the city of Detroit. See you next hour at 6. Live right, in we'll Oakland County, Jim Kurtz, information, 7 Jim. Actions. Jim, yep. thank you, and, and good to see that you were able to get in and get that test done.